Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Laura. And um, today we're going to work on a um, necklace. Uh, this is all products from Bargain Bee Box, except for the leather cord. Um, this is something I'm using for myself. So um, the leather cord came from Walmart. This is 75 feet. I did buy some leather cord from um, Amazon, but not even halfway through the spool. If you can see that, um, it is cracking. Even uh, just to make simple things, bending it and stuff, it started to split and crack halfway through. Not the best quality. Um, so I paid $10 for that. This came from Walmart. I'm not going to say how good quality is. I don't know. This is, um, I had somebody that, um, Alan had a micrometer, and I had to measure it because that does not tell you how big this is and i knew this was bigger than one millimeter but this is all they had and i kind of wanted it in a hurry this is one and a half millimeter 1.5 millimeter cord um it's not going to go through most of the beads i have but um i should be able to tie a knot and not have it crack so that's good i wanted to take it down past where they had um it knotted around the spool. It looks like it didn't leave a mess except for right up here close. Um, I do want to cut this with scissors. I don't want to cut it with my clippers because this is quite thick. I'm going to snip it. I'll look at the inside of it. It looks good. Okay, so this is also black, um, which is fine. I like black, browns, that kind of thing. So um, this is going to be a combination of leather and I was going to use chain, but because this is for me, um, if you don't know, I have neuropathy, so I am very sensitive to um, textures and things like that. So chain around my neck, um, it feels like it's just tearing my skin apart. So um, around the backside of my neck and stuff, I try not to have anything that feels like that. So what we're doing is we are using products from Bargain Bead Box. And um, now that I have cord, I do need to get out some cord end because that's what I'm using on that. It's sitting right here next to me. Um, so it's not going to be hard. This is from the Glade, uh, Violet Glade collection. And this is gorgeous. Um, this is the uh, 23 by 31 millimeter stainless steel and rhinestone. Those are some of the things I need today. Um, dragonfly pendant. And it is gorgeous. I love that little rhinestone that we have, like the little, um, the, I don't know if it's a rhinestone dust or just what the little glitter is on there, but it is a beautiful pendant and it does hang right here. So it's going to hang like this, but I will probably, because if I put it on the necklace like this, it's going to hang like this off the necklace. So I want to put another jump ring on so that it hangs this way. So, um, I'll need to get another jump ring in. And I have tons of them, you know. I thought I had another one out just specifically for that, but I don't. So we'll add one to our pile. I also have a piece of wire. This is not tiger tail. I have the worst luck with tiger tail. This is just simply beading wire. Um, this is 26 gauge. No, what did I use? It should have been right here. Okay. This is just from Walmart, 0.3 millimeter beading wire. Um, I'm not putting anything heavy on it, so it, it would be good. I had started using this in another project, so it's still got the clamshell on it, as you can see. I'll show you how to do the clamshell on the other end. And I am also using this. It is the 16 by 21 platinum plated brass dragonfly toggle clasp. It is gorgeous, and this is not going to be behind my neck. I'll show you how this goes. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you see how I put them on. This is um, some of the um, crystal roundout beads of the rainbow iris uh, violet mix. They're six by four millimeter. They are beautiful. I picked out some, I didn't use the, and I just dropped one. I did not use the, um, the flat matte, um, pink ones. I'm going to pause you and go down and see if I can find that bead I just dropped. 
Like figure out how to pause on this. Is that it? Okay, learning this new phone is kind of difficult, guys. So um, we are just going to, uh, the one thing I want to make sure is that when I hang this, um, I kind of want the darkest ones right next to him is what I want. And from there on out, I kind of want to make this look like Almost random, but not quite, if you know what I mean. Um, they, they are, some of them are so close to looking the same that it's going to be difficult to decide what beads are what. But, um, cause I don't want two of the same beads together and they look like they're the same. Um, so I'm just kind of sort of randomly putting them together. Um, gosh, they look the same. My goodness, they're identical. So let's, let's pull this out and put that there. I have one bead left over. How did I do that? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops, let's go here. Pink, one, two. One, two. Pink, one, two. Green, one, two. Pink, one, green, one, two. Green. Here we go. All right. So I kind of have it set up the way I want. That is a gold one that I picked up off the floor. We're going to add this to our... Um, jump ring to our bead and get him done up. I always use um, the flat part of my bent nose pliers to open it. I'm going to add him to the jump ring. This way, I really want a smaller one here, don't I? Open it, put my dragonfly on it, and then it's going to be hard. It's kind of close in there because this um, wire is really thin. So you want to make sure that that wire is not going to want to come out through there. So my best bet is to come through here, grab that wire and try. And it's not coming out. So we're going to leave it. It's good. And I'm just going to start stringing because I already have one end on here. I'm just going to go ahead and start stringing from one end and go through till I get to the center and then add the dragonfly. Yep, tossing. When I get to the center, I may want to add some small beads. We'll find out here in a second. And this is the center point. We'll add the dragonfly. Let's see. I think it's going to hang perfectly. We'll keep eating. If you don't know what Bargain Bead Box is, Bargain Bead Box is a monthly beading subscription and it is only $19.49 a month and it is shipped directly to you for that, to your door. And 
it is full of all kinds of beading items, um, beads and crystals. And um, it is really a good bargain. And um, when you join Bargain Bead Box, you also get a coupon code that is good in their sister store for 30% off. And you can use it all month long as many times as you'd like. That is gorgeous. I love that. And get it up here where you can see it a little better. That is pretty. Okay. And um, so it's a really, really good buy. You get my nippers. Um, I'm actually going to clip off quite a bit of this. We don't need all this in our way. And um, the only thing I get if somebody subscribes is after three people subscribe using my link, um, I get a free subscription box. So it's not um, huge. Um, I haven't contacted them about a coupon code to save you anything off on a box. Um, I will do that probably next few days. I don't know what the requirements are. Now, when I do this, I want to make sure that the beads are all down there, but I don't want it to be like tight. I want it to have some fluidness to it. So I'm just going to let it like hang there nice and gently. So there's, that's my clamshell. I'm going to add a bead or a crimp tube. I'm not using crimp beads because my crimp beads are crap and they're really large. And when I crimp them, they actually um, stick way out. So I have it down in there and I'm just going to reach in with the bent nose pliers. Try to turn this around where I could see it and you can see it. And I'm just going to reach down in there. I'm going to squeeze and get a hold of the, just the crimp tube. I'm going to squeeze that crimp tube around the wire. Now I'm going to pull. And it didn't, didn't crimp. So I'm just going to pull it on and off and try again. It happens, guys. Don't panic. <laughs> it is tricky to get that down in there. Again, make sure all my beads are down where they need to be. Make sure that crimp tube is down in there. Again, we're going to pull. You see that? That is not coming off there. So if I had any worries about this or if this was like really heavy, I would take just a little bit of E6000 or something and put just a dab in there and take care of that. So now I'm going to reach down in here and I'm going to clip this off now that I know that it is not going anywhere. I'm going to clip this wire off down in there. Come on, wire. My nippers are so dull, guys. I'm in such bad need of new wire clippers. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to fold them over. And I'm going to reach down and just go ahead and finish closing them with my pliers so I have a good tight close. Like so. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to lay this up here and see where it comes, where I want this to hang. Um, the dragonfly, I want it to hang fairly low, not too high up on my chest, but fairly low. And this is also going on there. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and connect this now and get this on here. And this way, this end of the toggle will be already on. Just like that. Oops, I forgot to take the toggle apart. See, they come with a ring between them. 
So you'll want to take that ring apart. As soon as I figure out where it is that it splits, because I kind of want to reuse that split ring if I can. There's that one, and we'll save that split ring. Hopefully I can reuse that. We're gonna go ahead, get this end of this toggle on here, close it up. Make sure it's good and closed and it's not. And that piece is done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause you a second. Okay, so I cut my cord about 19 inches long um, and I had to play around to see which one of the cord ends I needed. Um, the small ones were too small, they wouldn't actually wrap around it. So I went with the medium sized ones that I had and um, it's just simply, these ones here have like a little tooth in them. You can see that on the very end there. It's like a little tooth and it's gonna grab this cord. And I wanna make sure that my cord end is lined up the same and it's not. So I'm gonna turn my cord a little bit because I want my cords to have the ends facing the same way. I'm gonna grab this right here. There's a tab here that sticks out. I'm gonna hold this just like this with my thumbnail, wrap the cord down around. I'm gonna take, start with my pliers here that are my crimping pliers. I'm going to bend one side in, whichever one wants to go in, and keep that bent down around out of the way. And once it starts going in, I can kind of release this because it's already tight. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to take my pliers, my bent nose, and I'm going to use the side of that to press that down in so that it's down in there as far as it'll go. And I'm going to turn it and I'm going to bend this side down around. Because this being, you know, one and 1.5 millimeter, it's a fairly thick cord. So it pretty much fills this when you turn this around. So we're going to just hug it and it comes out looking like that. And then if this is up in that hole too far, you can trim it back, but it, it's not. So I'm going to just take my cord and both of my ends are closed on the same spot. So we're gonna turn them like this. I'm gonna go ahead and get a small jump ring and I'm going to open it. I'm going to hook this on. I'm going to um, go ahead and close it because that one's already open. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to use an extra jump ring to give extra room for that toggle to go into place through the, through the ring part of the, for the bar to go through the toggle making sure that is good and closed. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a hold of this ring that came with a tie with a clap with the bar. And I'm going to put that through that jump ring there. And I'm going to close it up. If you don't give yourself extra room with these bars and the rings, they won't close properly. And I wanted to give it a little extra like metal between the leather and where this hooks on. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab another tiny little jump ring. And I'm going to fasten the other side together. Open it and just put this all together here. And then close that up. 
hopefully. There we got it. And then all we have to do is put the taggle through just like that. I absolutely love how this turned out. Set this extra stuff aside. And then we use the, well, we want to turn that around. I put it through the front. We need to put it through the back so we can see that. You see the pretty butterfly, dragonfly rather. I absolutely love how that turned out. I will take some pictures. Thank you guys. I will be doing a ton of editing because I know this was really, really long. Um, let me see how many minutes. We're at 36 minutes. So yeah, I will be doing some editing. There will be some pictures at the end. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I absolutely love this piece. And um, yeah, if I'm making a piece for myself, it will be on leather or something like that because of my... Um, sensitivity to textures. Thank you all for watching. I love y'all. Take care. Bye guys.